I'm kind of an outcast to my family. Me and my family were going through a lot of problems. I wasn't putting my best foot forward. I wasn't in school. I wasn't doing anything productive with myself before I got to LAYC. I was just not stable in my life. My job wasn't something I was happy with. I had to worry about like who's gonna watch my son? How am I gonna eat? I didn't have no money, not enough for both of us. It was a hard point in my life. My drug abuse problem. That's one of the main struggles that I'm still struggling with as of today. But with the help of Terry, you know, I'm, I'm coping with it. I'm learning to, you know, come up with ways to, you know, get around smoking and ways to suppress the urge to smoke. I was homeless. I didn't have any kind of job or anything like that. And so I had a lot of financial problems as well. And I was also suffering from depression. So there was a lot of stuff that I needed. I was struggling with depression and just pure stress dealing with problems at home and just trying to find a way to keep calm and trying to just express how I feel to someone. The Latin American Youth Center's Promotor Pathway is a new case management model for disconnected youth. Promotores, or youth advocates, are matched with youth to mentor them, connect them to needed resources, and provide 24-7 support. Promotores create a lasting impact through long-term relationships with youth to support a successful transition to adulthood. I was having some trouble with, you know, coping with the urge to smoke. And he really, like, you know, really talked me off the ledge. Think about, you know, what's at stake. Think about why you're at school, you know. Surprising as it was to me, I didn't smoke for the entire time I was at school, based on Terry's advice. My promoter, Stephanie, she helped me, like, with my GED. I started going to classes. She helped me stay focused. Like, every week I would talk to her. She'll ask me, like, what's wrong. She'll try to, like, help me with the teacher. And, like, she'll just be on top of me during I'm in school. She's been there just to help me out through the good and bad of situations, you know. Days where I don't want to talk and just really don't want to pick up the phone, she's been there to just say, hey, you know, if you want to come in and talk, we can. For my birthday, she took me out to Panda Express, and it was just cool to just sit down and eat some good food and just talk about how I feel and how life is going. They help give you support that you might not be able to find from family and friends, so I think that's important because I feel like a regular case manager, they kind of just, oh, here's some resources. And resources are great, but sometimes you kind of just want someone to be there for you, and so Promotor is someone who acts as also a guide, someone you know you can talk to and things like that. It's just way more personal, like we see each other on a daily basis, we are in contact with each other on a daily basis. If I need anything, I could just ask and she will make sure that I get what I need. And she's very dependable and reliable. She's like my family member, a good family member. <laughs> Because I feel like the promotors, they genuinely care about us. Because I've had caseworkers before. I've always felt like, you know, when we were having like our one-on-one -on -one sessions and things of that sort, they were only doing their job. As with Terry, you know, he's doing his job, but it's like, it's a genuine care there, you know? And Terry has gone out of his way for me millions of times, you know? And I'm pretty sure that's not in his job description. They're just really helpful supportive people you know if you feel like you're alone and you don't have anyone and you just feel like you know you've been kind of left behind you know there are people who will really pick you up you know having a promotor is like having a sidekick who's really the real hero like she's there for you and if she needs to she will step up and handle it for you so a promotor for me is like a mentor somebody that i could look up to and i could go to whenever I needed her help. Ever since I've had my promotor, like I, I feel like I have somebody holding my hand no matter what. Um, I wish to open like maybe something like a boys and girls club for the LGBT community in places where, you know, we still face adversity. I'm working hard to stay focused in school, make sure I'm ready for the GED test so I can pass it, so I can go further in life. Because without an education, a lot of doors are already closed. You know, now I'm in college and I have a scholarship I just won. So it's definitely making a positive effect on my life. I'm just 
on my road to success? I'm currently just sort of trying to work and um, I'm trying to kind of just get my life together, be on my own and then go back to college. So I finally got my GD and now I'm, in, I'm going to college. I'm studying to become an aerospace engineer. So hopefully I get that. My son, he's about to start school and I'm like kind of freaked out, but yay for him. 